Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Bo Williams. Tonight we start with breaking news. An officer is dead, another receiving treatment, and the search is underway for a 42-year-old man following an officer-involved shooting in Blunt County. Let's get you up to date. The shooting forcing the closure of a section of Sevierville Road between Keeble Road and Destiny Lane. You are being asked to avoid that area and seek an alternate route. WAT6 on your sides. Ella Wales in Blunt County for us tonight. She joins us now from a media staging center. Ella, what are you learning right now from deputies this evening? Well, Bo, like you said, we learned about 25 minutes ago that one deputy has been killed. However, the second deputy that we learned was injured, we just found out has been treated and released from the hospital. Now, deputies are still looking for 42-year-old Kenneth DeHart. He's believed to be armed and dangerous and believed to be on foot. His last known location was in the Wildwood area, and anyone who sees him is asked to call 911. Special agents with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation have also been requested to help investigate this shooting. We don't have much more details now. We're hoping to hear from the sheriff in the next few hours, so we'll keep everyone posted on that on WATE.com. But still, Sevierville Road from Keeble Road to Destiny Lane is still closed, and it's expected to be closed for the indefinitely. So try to avoid that area if you can. And... If you do see this man, Kenneth DeHart, 42 years old, make sure and call 911. We'll keep you updated when we do hear from the sheriff, but for now, in Blunt County, Ella Wales, WATE6, on your side. All right, Ella, thank you. And again, we do want to try to give you another look here at who deputies are looking for tonight. As you just saw a moment ago, Ella telling us about 42-year-old Kenneth DeHart. We are told that he has dreadlocks, at one point was driving a silver Lexus. He is considered armed and dangerous. As you heard from uh, Ella just a moment ago, he could be on foot now in the Wildwood area there in Blount County. Of course, we're going to continue to bring you updates in this newscast. We will also post new information for you online at WATE.com as well as our free news app. But keep it tuned to WATE for all the latest. And again, we'll continue to keep you up to date on the search for Kenneth DeHart.